going on, everybody? My name is Mike Gambino, and I'm here with Rich Walker here at the Incredible Bionic Man booth at New York Comic Con. Rich, it's a pleasure Hi. meeting you. How are you? Very, very good, very good. Really enjoying New York. Oh, first time I've been here. It's a first it's time? Excellent. Really oh, enjoying it. Uh, what, what, what sites have you seen? <laughs> Mostly <laughs> the traffic. Most of the traffic. But I've been able to go and check out a few of your fine craft beer bars, the view in Central Park. Pretty magnificent. It's, really it's New York. Where are you yeah. from originally? I can tell by the accent, but I was figuring out. North London, Tottenham, in fact. Yeah, you may have heard of us. We have a little team called Spurs play from there. But they're, they're moderately famous, apparently, in the football world. I don't know anything about that. Uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a Juventus fan, so I'm a, oh, I, I watch, I watch Serie A. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the Incredible Bionic Yeah, sure. So the idea for this came, we, we were approached by a TV company. They said, uh, we've heard you're a robot company that do interesting things. We said, yeah. They said, how do you fancy building a person out of artificial body parts? Well, I paused for a whole millisecond before saying, yeah. <laughs> crazy project, crazy idea. So we spent about a year and a half talking to basically everyone in the world who made parts of the human body to go into, onto a human. I mean, we're robot people, we build parts for robots, but these were parts for people themselves. And we got these parts together and we spent six weeks basically building the, the bionic man that you see. It's kind of, he's a showcase of all the parts of the human body, what they are, what they can do, how they can be replaced. And in the program, which goes out on Smithsonian on the 20th of October and is available to stream on their website now, you'll see each of these parts working, see how it's used, see what it does, and see what the state of the art is in repairing the human body the hardcore way. That's, that's like, I, I don't even, I can't even fathom it. That's, that's incredible. That really is. Well, no, I, I didn't even mean to say incredible, and it's in the, it's in the name of the sign the word. Uh, it, it, frankly, it is. When we, we were putting together the engineering team inside a company, we were like, it was just going like, to, to what? Huh? What? Yeah, of course I want to do that. That's just, wow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So I'm guessing you've been extremely busy for the past, what, X amount of months, years? Well, it was, it was the actual build itself was a six-week full-on project. We had five-hour engineering team working continuously at taking these parts and putting them together. The program that you'll see, there's a little bit filmed at the beginning when all the parts arrive and we're kind of going, what is this thing? What does it do? And then six weeks later, they came back and they filmed what we put together and how it worked and what we could do with it and, and see, you know, What's going on in, in modern medical technology? How we can replace the parts of the human being? So you, I'm trying to fathom the concept. It's, it's, it's an actual human being, well, it's, not, it's artificial intelligence, I'm going to guess, right? We have, we've only got a tiny bit of artificial intelligence in there. We use a chatbot to have some conversation with it. But mostly what it is, is it's medical technology, and it's just showing all the technology that exists. We've occasionally hooked it up with a bit of robotic technology to make it do something. So for example, we wanted to show how the, the hand can reach and grasp. So we used a, a games console 3D camera to look, to see an object, to see where it was and recognize it and go, aha, that's my can of cola. I can reach out, pick that up and pour it. That is phenomenal. Um, now, it was a six week project. Um, what, where do you see the future of the, of the show or, or actually even technology? Because you're in the technology field yeah. of it. So what do you see next? I can only imagine. Well, the, the, the slightly embarrassing, this is going to go to the uh, National Air and Space Museum if those fat cats in Washington ever bother reopening it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all right. We're supposed to go there next week and the Bionic Man turns up, has a big event. It oh, wow. may not happen. It's, we're, we're down to, President, Mr. President, can you sort this out, please? You know, we really want to get this done, like everyone else. It's just right, frustrating, right. frustrating. It's, uh, <laughs> but it's supposed to go to the Air and Space Museum. It'll be there for two or three months. And then it comes back to the UK and we take him apart and we send all the body parts back to their original manufacturers. So we get to disassemble him and basically bury all the bits and hide the evidence, which will be fun in itself. <laughs> but this is, I mean, partly we did this just to show what's possible, but while we were doing it, we actually started conversations between a lot of the people who work on these technologies. And for example, the guy who did the windpipe, he's been making things that are very, very biocompatible. So his windpipe, the body looks at it and says, that's just normal cartilage. I will grow on that naturally. And the people who've been developing the artificial pancreas, which is the organ that produces insulin, that you know, diabetics that fails in them, really important organ to be able to replace. They said, oh, we're having terrible trouble. We can make this thing, but we can't get it to stay in the body. The body just rejects it. It won't have anything to do with it. And he said, oh, well, if you coat it with this material I've been developing, the body will accept it. And they're like, okay, we have to work together now and go and make that happen. 
So we've started these conversations between the prosthetists, between the, the medical researchers, that hopefully will help speed up the process just a little bit. That is that is just phenomenal. Um, Rich, you've been a great, that was amazing, amazing, so so amazing. Is there anywhere we could see other than the actual show that's coming out um, on the Smithsonian Channel? Is there like any websites? It's, it's all up there on the Smithsonian website. There's lots of information. There's a big walkthrough of the thing. It's actually in the Smithsonian Magazine as well in print oh, wow. this month. So you can go grab a nice copy of that. And if your Canadian Maclean's Magazine has a piece on it too, just hit the newsstands today. That is amazing. Rich, thank you, thank you, thank thank you again. You. It was a phenomenal interview. Thank you. Thank My you name is Mike Gambino. Rich Walker. Okay. Here we are. The Incredible Bionic Man. Check it out.